Hi, everybody, and welcome to Teaching Tip Tuesday, brought to you by the Center for Inclusive Teaching and Learning here at UWSP. This week, I'd like to talk to you about alignment. Alignment is the way that all of the critical components of your course work together to facilitate student achievement of learning outcomes and to measure that achievement. Good alignment only occurs with conscious effort during the design phase of your course. So how are you going to know whether or not your course has good alignment? Fortunately, there are questions you can ask yourself. First, ask whether or not you're providing a platform for students to achieve the learning outcomes. There are a number of components to this question. First, is the content you're providing appropriate? If the content doesn't support student achievement of learning outcomes, it probably doesn't belong in your course. Do yourself and your students a favor and eliminate the content that's extraneous to the educational goals that you've set. Next, ask whether you've appropriately scaffolded the content. There are a number of baby steps in learning that students need to make in order to reach a lot of those higher level learning outcomes. Have you adequately identified them? And after you've identified them, have you provided all of the content and background information that students need to achieve the learning outcome? If not, ask yourself where you're expecting students to have achieved these lower level skills. Another important aspect of alignment is whether or not you've provided students with the opportunity to practice their knowledge, skills, and dispositions that you expect them to achieve prior to the summative assessment. In other words, are there assignments or activities that support student achievement of the learning outcome? It's important that all assignments get the students closer to the educational goals of the course and that they aren't just busy work. Next, ask whether large assignments are scaffolded. Students rely on receiving feedback to hone and improve their performance, so providing them with these opportunities represents good alignment. Finally, ask whether your summative assessment tool provides an accurate assessment of student achievement of the learning outcome. To examine this question, it's worth taking a moment to revisit Bloom's taxonomy. You may recall that this taxonomy divides learning goals into different levels of cognitive complexity, ranging from simple recall through understanding, application, analysis, evaluation, and finally creation of new knowledge. These different levels of complexity are associated with specific student actions that are indicated by the verbs in the column on the right of this diagram. Choosing the appropriate action words to incorporate in your learning outcomes makes it transparent to the students what specific actions they're expected to be able to take as a result of their learning. These action words also determine the appropriate form of assessment. So when you're asking whether or not your summative assessments align with your learning outcomes, it's important to pay attention to these action words. Remember that the action words determine the appropriate assessment tool. Low-level learning outcomes at the remembering level can be effectively assessed using multiple choice, matching, or fill-in-the-blank questions on standard exams. But higher-level learning outcomes require students to verbalize. If your outcomes entail explaining, describing, comparing, analysis, or evaluation, the only appropriate tools are tools that allow students to actually explain, describe, compare, analyze, or evaluate. In other words, you're going to need to employ papers, presentations, essays, or possibly student-created videos. Remember that good alignment within your course will help to ensure a quality educational experience for your students. And that's this week's teaching tip brought to you by the Center for Inclusive Teaching and Learning here at UWSP. Remember that at SIDL, we provide support for course design, learning activities, assessment, and pedagogy. Visit our website to schedule a consultation today.